Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a talk through tutorial and I have so much to share with you. A lot of information, a lot of technique, a lot of different ways that I like to just layer and add shadow on and detail work with my priming and I'm using a lot of product and there are a lot of steps, but I'm going to guide you through this look. Anyone can do this. It is super easy once you break it down and you don't get overwhelmed by the fact that we really are piling everything on the face and being a little bit over the top and full on glam. And this is something a little bit different for me in the sense that it is more warm and pink and magenta kind of in the crease as well. And I just think this is very wearable and a little bit different, but not like crazy different. So I hope you enjoy this look. We're gonna hop straight to it. So that we don't have a giant intro and yeah. Anyway, let's get to the tutorial. Where do we begin? I feel really, really tired looking right now. I'm actually gonna start out, a lot of you guys, if you watch me on Snapchat, you have seen this in action. This is the Instant Uplift from Nurse Jamie and I am, I, I, I've been using it every day. I was trying to look for a different word other than obsessed, but I feel like this always stays nice and cold and it's tourmaline and it just helps everything to be lifted and hashtag firm. So what you do is you just do about 45 strokes, 45 seconds on any part that you want to firm a little bit. So I'll be here for a minute doing exactly this and let's fast forward that. Ta-da! This thing is freaking amazing. You know why I like this? Because I feel like I don't have to use eye patches underneath my eye as much. When you want to get rid of that puffiness, this just takes it away. And it's not like you ever have to repurchase it. You purchase it once and it's like a great tool to have on hand. It is that wonderful time of the month for me, which means I wake up and I feel just like all of the water is just retaining in my body. So I, especially when I'm feeling extra puffy, I like doing the instant uplift, but then I'm gonna go in with this pure hydrogel lift and I'm just gonna sweep this underneath the eye. It's nice and quick and it just gives me a nice base for my concealer to stick to and it also de-puffs. While I am there, I'm gonna grab a little bit of eye primer. Right now I'm using the Invisible Eye Primer from Fiona Styles and I'm just going to tap this on the lid. What I'm going in with now is just a little bit of Benefits Professional. I'm specifically gonna pat this on the cheek area where I have enlarged pores. I'm gonna repeat on the other side, really patting it in instead of using a sweeping motion. I'm gonna hit the nose right in between the brow. My pores are always really giant there. And then on the chin, now I'm going to take my liquid blotting paper from Cover FX, the Custom Blot Drops. I'm mainly going to use this today just around the nose and a little bit in between the brow, but I am going to definitely use this gel as my touch-up later on throughout the day. That is actually my favorite way to use that product. I just reviewed it. I will link that video below for you guys. It's incredible stuff. So I really wanted to try out the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This was sent to me and the shade 3.25 is too light, the shade 3 is too light, and the shade 2 is too light. So sadly what they sent my way did not uh, go with the recent tanning situation that I have um, currently kind of I don't know, I'm just loving a tan. So I have mixed in a little bit of a darker foundation from NARS, also a long wear foundation. And I'm just gonna kind of mix the two together and you know, we'll hope for the best. I am gonna take my little Color Me Flawless. Shoot, every time this thing surprises me with how high coverage it is, it's just the most insane thing ever. It just, I barely have any foundation on here and it just spreads it out like craziness. Shoot, why am I always gonna sneeze when I do my makeup? Uh, uh, uh. False alarm, just watery eyes, yeah. The only problem I have when you get around the nose and it's like vibrating, if you're like me and anything touches your nose and you sneeze, 
it will kind of drive you absolutely crazy. I'm gonna take my Dermacolor in D4. I'm taking a Morphe E39, and I am just going to conceal my sunspots and discoloration. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape. Ooh, I love this stuff so, so much. You don't need a lot. So I'm just going underneath the eye. It spreads out quite a bit too, so don't feel like you need to go in this like huge triangle. You really do not. Just kind of get from inner corner to outer corner, bring it down a tiny bit, and you're gonna be able to blend it out and get a really nice highlight. So now I'm taking my trusty beauty blender that has been dampened already and I am just going to press and pat this in. Now I'm gonna take the most giant brush of life from IT Cosmetics and Scott Barnes Pressed Powder in Petal and I'm grabbing a bunch of product and I'm just gonna kind of stamp my face. I don't wanna move stuff around, I just want to set all of that foundation and concealer. Then we're gonna go in with some RCMA No Color Powder, taking a dampened black beauty blender. And I like to take a black beauty blender for a few different reasons for the powder. One, I feel like this is a little bit of a stronger, more dense beauty blender. There is a difference in the softness and firmness. So I like using this to blend out any foundations or concealers, and then I use the black ones to set powder. Also, that helps me to identify what is for what, so I am not taking a powdered up beauty blender and pressing powder into wet concealer. So if you were wondering why I always do that, that's why. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Tarte Lip Facial Matte Lip today. This looks so effing cute, all right? Okay, now that my lips are prepped and scrubbed is the time that I put on my Lip Fusion XL. I'm showing you guys every detailed step today. I am gonna contour my nose before we move on to eyes. I am taking this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour and I'm going to grab the contour shade and I am using the Linear One from Artiste. This works great for eyeliner as well, but it is just like so special for contour. And now to blend that out, I am gonna take my NARS Eda brush dip it in the same contour powder, kind of wipe off some of the excess, and blend downward, but then also blend upward so I'm not dragging that contour down toward uh, an area that I don't want contoured. This is the fun part. I am so excited to actually do it, this look on camera. I posted on Instagram a picture of my makeup and you guys were like, I mean, actually I think it's the most liked photo ever. And you guys really wanted a tutorial of the makeup. It was really sexy makeup and these warm colors in this palette get the job done and it's pretty easy. So the first thing I am going to do is take this Morphe M511 and I'm gonna take the shade golden ochre and I'm just barely dipping and I'm going to get kind of on the lid and in the crease. This is such a wide brush that it's going to kind of go everywhere but that's okay. We're putting a lot of other colors on top of it so this is almost like your transitions transition because I'm going to go also very high up to the brow. Now I haven't set my eyebrow with any gel or anything like that so if you see my brows kind of going all over the place it's okay, we're gonna clean that up later. Another thing I'm doing is I am extending the color out so that we have a base to really blend everything on top of it. Now we're gonna go in with a MAC 224 and I'm gonna grab raw sienna, just like a pat of it, and a little bit of burnt orange. And now we're gonna go a little bit high in the crease, not really focusing on the outer corner, just kind of going in that U shape, just back and forth, back and forth, windshield wiper motions. And you can just keep grabbing a little bit more and a little bit more. Go slow. You can always build up. It's easier to build up 
than it is to take away. You know, sometimes it's really discouraging when you see on Instagram, like the little videos, and you wonder how on earth do they get their eyeshadow so blended so fast? And the truth is, no one does. It takes a little bit of time to kind of really buff and blend and build. Another trick that's really helpful is first off, don't apply a ton of pressure when you're doing transitional shades, especially. I'm really not using a ton of pressure. I'm also holding not up close here. I'm holding about halfway down the barrel, but also you notice I'm turning in the mirror. Make sure that you're not just looking straight on and down and you can't really see what's going on. Don't be afraid to tilt your chin back, move around, look in the mirror from the side because people see you from all angles, not just dead on. So make sure you're moving your face around and kind of catching light in different areas and really seeing what needs to be blended. I'm gonna take a MAC 217 and now we are gonna go into Venetian Red and I am taking the tiniest, littlest bit I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna focus right on the outer crease, but not low. I'm almost creating a line where I'm not getting the color down here. I'm saving this space for something darker. So I'm kind of going all the way out to the tip of my eyebrow and then bringing it in, out, in, out. Now we're going back to the 511. It really doesn't have much product on it at all. And I'm going to use circular motions and kind of blend the whole crease together. I am gonna go into Cypress Umber, grabbing a dab. This one does kick off quite a bit of powder. So really just go in your palette and just go boom and grab just a dab of color. And I'm being super light here. I'm just going right below where we put the previous shade. And I'm not going all the way in. I'm just kind of shading that outer edge. Now I'm going to take a MAC 242 and I'm going to go in Cypress Umber and I'm grabbing it flat on one side. I'm going to make sure that I take a little bit of the excess off so it's not so intense. I'm going to turn all the way as far as I can while still seeing in the mirror and you see how this is like shaped like a cat eye, I'm going to go right on the edge here and kind of fan up and lightly meet those colors together. Only do padding on the lid to pack the color. And then when you're meeting them in the middle, you kind of use really like feather light strokes and just drag the color back down, but don't bring the brown above the red. Then we're gonna go back with the 224 and kind of buff the crease together using circular motions and pulling the color in. Do not pull past where we're trying to make that shape. Same thing, you can use circular motions and kind of make sure that nothing looks too harsh on that outer edge on the lid. Time to shine up the lids, which is my very favorite part. I feel like everything comes together when we start adding the glow to the face. So I am taking a MAC 239 and Primavera, and I am just going to start in the middle, keeping things nice and low. I am packing and pressing, going toward the inner corner, and I'm making sure that I am not getting in this business right here. I wanna keep that pretty deep. So just take your time and really press and pack. But something that I like to do because I do have slightly hooded eyes and when I open them up, everything can get lost. I actually like taking a little bit extra and kind of not in this area right here, but really following through and going a little bit higher on that inner portion of the lid, but then stopping where you see that color and it just kind of opens the eye up a little bit more. It's time to do a five minute meditation and go into your liquid eyeliner. It still scares me, I understand, deep breaths. There is such a thing as makeup remover. I believe in you, you can do it, we can do it, let's do it. Um, so I am taking my Tom Ford very favorite liner. This stuff is so magical. This is the Eye Defining Pen in Deeper. 
It has two different sides. I like starting out with the larger side. It's very pink brushy, forgiving, and we're just gonna go for it. So I'm going all the way in. And once I get to that outer edge, I'm gonna kind of change my position of how I'm holding the brush. And I'm really trying to angle up as much as possible to that outer edge of my eyebrow. And the wing is completed. Uh, not too scary, kind of scary, but you know, managed to make it happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes. Now I'm gonna take Tarte's Tartist Mascara and I'm lightly gonna coat the upper lashes because I am gonna go in with falsies. And it is time to remove the bake. I'm gonna take my ambient lighting powder. I'm gonna kind of whisk all three colors together and just get that powder off. And I actually am gonna do something kind of crazy and I'm taking this ambient lighting powder on my larger brush and I am taking it around the face just because I want my skin to glow today extra, extra glowy and it's a little bit dry and this kind of cheats your way into it looking a little more of a satin finish. The ambient powders can be used that way. They aren't just a strobe highlight. You can use them on the entire face. I know it sounds scary, but it just gives you this very like creamy finish. We're gonna pop on lashes. I'm using this Adalash Latex Free Lash Glue and I am obsessed with it, it's so good. If you have an allergy to latex, and you find that a lot of lash glues just don't hold your lashes in place. This one is really, really good. I will link it below. So while I'm waiting for that to dry just a little bit, I'm gonna load up my lower lash line with some mascara. These are the Tamana lashes from Flutter. I don't know if they still make these. I've worn these several times and I'm gonna try and find the edge first, the outer edge. And the lashes are on. Now, typically I will fuss for a little while with the lashes, but I'm gonna kind of just let them settle and then pinch them a little bit and make sure they are flipping up exactly how I want them to. So let's add a little bit of bronzer and blush. I'm gonna take the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, load it up on a giant brush. This is a Morphe M424. Now that I'm feeling bronzed, we are going to add a little bit of blush and I am taking this new one, the Air Blush from Marc Jacobs. This is in Flesh and Fantasy and it is so beautiful. Now we're gonna highlight with Anastasia's Glow Kit. I'm gonna take the shade Sunburst and Bubbly on a fan brush. This fan brush is from Morphe. This is an M601 and I'm going to turn and find the high points of my cheeks and just load them up. All right, now I'm going to blot off the lip fusion. I'm gonna line with my Essence Lip Liner in number 11. I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick in Wink. I have kind of mixed feelings about this, but I wanted to do the exact look that I did for Instagram. So we're going in. So my issue with this is that it does kind of crackle and show the lines in your lips a little bit. So what I ended up doing after I took that photo was I put a nude gloss on top, also from Bare Minerals, the shade Far Out. So I'm gonna wait till this dries down and then put that on top and we're almost done. I am gonna touch up the lower lash line just a little bit. I'm taking a new brush from Kat Von D. I'm gonna be talking about this very soon, but I'm gonna take just a dab of Venetian Red, literally the tiniest little bit. I'm going to tuck this underneath and just kind of smoke and smudge things out. I'm also gonna take this highlight from Clio. This is a waterproof shadow. 
and I'm gonna go right in the inner corner, right in that tear duct and kind of brighten things up. I'm gonna take this highbrow glow from Benefit and I'm going to just highlight right underneath the high point of my brow. And then we are gonna set the brow. I'm gonna take the Gimme Brow from Benefit and just kind of fan these eyebrow hairs upward into place. This adds a little bit of color, but also helps everything to kind of just lay flat. And now I'm ready to add just a tiny bit of that gloss. Take our setting sprays. MAC Fix Plus is first up. Then I'm going in with Urban Decay All Nighter. So here we have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and me talking through and giving you really detailed explanations. Give this video a thumbs up if you like me keeping this format where the video is a little bit longer, but I'm giving you every tip and trick that I know about. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.